Hello, um, back on Unity. I know um, we've been doing a lot of Cinema 4D stuff, but now I'm back and rocking on Unity. And today we are going to be looking at post processing. Um, so if you're not sure what post post processing is, um, essentially Photoshop for Unity, making things look pretty and come out more with lighting. How to sort of really push the lighting. Um, getting long shadows, color grading, ambient occlusions, um, so that's kind of roughness on effects. Um, also using reflection probes as well um, to try and get things going. So um, today we're just going to look at this kind of the standard um, post processing and um, the setup of it and having a look through some of the effects as well. But um, kind of like Photoshop really when it comes to sort of looking at all the effects and what they do it's kind of you have to once you've got the setup I'll show you a couple of things but you could probably just go um, go it alone and so, sort of do it yourself really okay so the first thing you need to do I've already done this but I'll show you what we can do if we go to a window uh, package manager and do, 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 do and look for post processing make sure you're on all packages as you can see there and click post processing as you can see I've already um, installed it just to um, cut down on time um, make sure um, you download this um, it will come with the latest version I think the um, what we're doing today with post processing um, you can start pretty much from I think what 18.3 up until 19.3 um, with all the versions so if you have got a couple of versions back don't worry if you don't want to update that's fine this will work but um, obviously if you've got um, Unity uh, 2019 that will be better so once you've downloaded that you'll see in your packages you will find post processing and there it is all of random packages and files fantastic we don't need to do anything about that it's just good that it's there okay so once we've downloaded it everything that we see um, and our volumes and our effects are all going to come from our main camera okay so what we're going to do is go to add component and as you can see I've been fiddling with it previously so if you type in post just like I have post then you can see we've got post process debug post process layer and post process um, volume so we need to create a layer technically over our main camera hence why we're going to add the post process layer okay um, so with that you can see that um, our trigger for that is essentially our camera which is good we want everything to come through our main camera um, for this and at the layer uh, at the moment it says layer it says nothing so what we want to do is set our layer. So what we need to do is go up to the top here, look at layer, says default at the moment, and go to layer or add layer. So when we click add layer, you can see I've already got um, a user layer called layer 8 post processing. If you've never done this before, you will just have blank. So you will have that. So we can just go post processing, lovely, press enter. That will save that if we go back into our main camera uh, what we'll be able to do now is go to this layer and add post processing there it is awesome fantastic cool and um, once we've done that um, we need to create an empty so we need to show where all of those effects and layers are going to go and um, so this will be fine right now this is awesome so we go right click create empty and what should we call this let's call this um, post process volume because this is what our post process volume is going to go into so we've named this post um, post process volume because we're going to add simply add a layer into here called post process volume okay and what this will do is um, just like a volume of going from quiet to loud this is like the control center so our layer of where everything is going to be shown is going to go for our main camera and all of our effects and going up and down and changing those effects um, are going through our post process volume okay so there's a couple of things that we need to do here before um, we kick off and add effects one of them is we need to check is global so 
what this means is everything will be affected, the whole of our environment. The only time we wouldn't check this is if our post-processing was going to affect different areas of our game, or if we had day and night, or if you're in a racing game and you suddenly go into a tunnel and it gets darker. That is a perfect example of um, different areas of post-processing volumes. Um, okay, so weight one is absolutely fine. Um, we've added our post-processing volume. That's all good. Um, we've checked is global. Um, so we need to go to our profile. And here we've got nothing at the moment. All we're going to do is click new. And this will create a brand new post-processing volume for us and we don't need to worry about that that's brilliant okay so the last thing we need to do is um, look at our layer as you can see our layer is just set to default well if we want things to come through we need to change this to post-processing so I can show you an example so if you go to effect unity best one is going to be probably bloom if I go to intensity um, and maybe color and diffusion. If I put the intensity up, nothing is happening. So we must make sure that all our layers are tagged, and this is going to be where sort of the main issue can arise. So if I go to layer, click default, go to post processing, you can already see the intensity is already showing up there. Okay. So if we have a look through Bloom, uh, if we change this color to what's this color of my ship that's kind of dark blue so let's go and have a look at this off kind of blue that's kind of nice and what we can do is have a play diffusion well, that's kind of taking it away let's have a look at the threshold see what threshold can do for us oh there we go a bit too much but there we go let's down with the diffuse, diffuse that a little bit. Cool, so we're going to get this kind of spacey blue feel here. Uh, and intensity for dirtiness. Uh, it's not really doing anything, we can uncheck that. Okay, so um, have a play of those, by all means. Um, let's add another effect, Unity Color Grading. And what you'll see here is, I'll try and check something on my mode and it will say color space in project setting is set to gamma um, so um, this can take a little bit more energy out of your CPU on your computer so if you've got a bit of a vulnerable computer be careful with doing this and what we're going to do is set our color mode from gamma to linear and the way we do that is go right up to the top here click edit go to project settings and make sure we are clicked on player once we've done that we can scroll down and we can look at our color space and our color space says gamma and we can quickly change that to linear and if we do that there we go you can already see a change and that's quite a nice change actually um, for our color so more of a, a detailed color coming out in there so um, yeah, let's check that. Let's check this. So if we look at tone mapping, um, I do like um, ACES or as it called an ACES. Creates a nice darker tone. You can also look at the diffusion to make it a bit darker and a bit meaner. Uh, let's threshold it. So we've got this bluish glow off everything. It's quite nice. And um, let's have a look at this. So again, it's going to be really you play around with this and kind of um, figure out what you want this kind of game to look like at the end of the day. And this is kind of looking quite nice actually. Whoa, that's quite cool. But I think that hue kind of shift. As you see, you can go absolutely crazy with this. So, I quite like that. That's looking cool. And even as that coming through in our game, awesome. So, as you can see, I'm having a play, and you can change loads of different things um, in your pro in your post processing stack. Um, and that is um, essentially it. Have a great time setting up post processing, and have an even better time of playing around with it, and hopefully not killing your CPU. All right, see you later. Bye.